Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenron, and today we are playing Venice Can Into France. Or at least we're gonna fucking try. My god, do we have no morale. Uh, anyway, we declared war on France because they had no manpower, and they still don't have any manpower. Uh, what do they got? They got 400 manpower and only 50k troops. So we can beat them in this war. It's not that. The problem is these battles are fucking brutal, and obviously we took a very bad choice here of attacking them in Bern, but. Let me give you the situation. We had 75 troops, and we attacked a stack of two. 75 versus two guys. Shouldn't that just instant auto-resolve? Done? Smashed 2, 2k stack? Nope. They stayed around for like two weeks while France marched his army through the mountains to come join the battle on the defensive side. It's like, are you kidding me? Why is that two stack surviving at all? Anytime it's the numbers are 10 to 1 or more, they should just... Gone. But nope. 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 So instead of that, now we're attacking in the mountains instead of defending in the mountains. I expected to have a defensive battle here after we smashed that stack of two. Didn't happen. So anyway, yeah, someone's suggesting we should embargo these clowns because they do have a huge economy. I agree. Uh, we should probably set them as an enemy so that we can do that a little more effectively. So let's get rid of Burgundy. Throw in France, F-R-A-N-T-S. And embargo their dumb ass. Suck a dick, France. Look at their king. Look at their king. 354. My guy? 411. Look at their generals. Actually, that general's shit. <laughs> is that his heir? It says he's his king. That icon means king. Okay, so he is a level 4 military guy. He's just apparently pretty shit. <laughs> That's fine with me. Anyway, hopefully we can win this battle here in uh, Bern. Oh, Friesland has shown. <laughs> Friesland is now attacking my mercs. Interesting. Go kill them. We're on speed two because speed three was too fast. <laughs> I was missing my pause key on speed three. Something happened to Denmark. What's up, Denmark? Uh, he just got involved in a war with Lithuania. Well, that's not good. That may mean he wants peace. Do you want peace? No. And he's not any closer to it. He should. The moment he gets involved in like too many wars, he should just ask for peace. But he doesn't. Interesting. Why is my ally just chilling here? You should be able to give orders to your allies, but apparently you can't. You're just chilling here, right next to the battle, instead of helping. What a useless ally. Oh, now he's going to help in that battle. Good. At least you did something. At least you did something. What? Why are you retreating? No, go over there. It shows this guy retreating. What the fuck? What? I have no idea. We're getting some good kills. So that's nice, because he doesn't have the manpower to back it up. We do have mar our mercs starting to show up, so that's nice. We are getting more kills than he is every single day, so that's good. But he's still bringing more dudes. He's not giving up. If we win this battle, we're just going to retreat for a little bit so we can regroup our, our morale. Our morale is so bad. Oh, and during this whole battle, he's still got time to try to snipe that cardinal. Man, this 
just hilariously long. That's what she said. Yep, and the reinforcements brought in another negative one penalty for River Crossing. You're right. That is a thing that happened. Let's see if you guys want peace yet. No. He's getting closer, but it's it's slow creeping. Not fast enough for me. Why is the volume annoying of battle sounds? It's not me. It's the game that does that. When you select a battle, the volume just goes up. I didn't do that. <laughs> and there's an idiotic Bavarian army just standing on the way, so I can't see the French, the French numbers very well. There we go. Yeah, the battle noise is annoying, but it was the same way in um, it was the same way in EU3. I mean, if I go to the settings, uh, game options, audio, there's nothing in here that really affects it. I'm not sure if it's in. Let me turn effects all the way down. See if that does it. Yeah, but now we can't hear anything. It's still gonna be too loud, but whatever. Our morale is so bad. We're killing more of them, but our morale is tanked. Fun French rebels. <laughs> the tech is the same as ours. It's not the tech. It's completely their ideas. It's their defensive ideas and then the French ideas. They get a plus 20% morale for French ideas. They get a plus 10% uh, discipline for French ideas. And then they also have defensive tech uh, seven, which get a defensive idea is seven, which gives them a plus twenty-five percent to morale. So they have a plus forty-five percent to morale, which is huge, and they also have a discipline bonus of ten percent. So that's the French bonus that they get. It's the same tech. Uh, can we spawn rebels in there? We can do some particularists or some cosmopolitan patriots, but cosmopolitan patriots are just going to flip to. France. That's all they do, because France's culture is cosmopolitan. So we'll do, we can't even do these guys. Why not? Oh, I don't know. Fine, whatever. It's fun, whatever. But it's just not going to help. Now we're taking big losses. Out. We rolled a two. Uh, looks like Bohemia has pieced out. Yep. What was the peace deal? That was a big war. Where's the peace deal? Bohemia have accepted peace with Denmark. Well, where's the fucking peace deal? Where's the peace deal? Why does it not show? It's supposed to show here in text what they did. Uh, I have no idea. It looks like they didn't give up any land. Well, that's unfortunate. And they're not really any closer to peace. They gave some land back to Poland? Okay. Why does it not show it down here? Eh, whatever. Ow. We're rolling, we're rolling sevens and we're still losing huge numbers. It's not good. It's because our morale is so low, probably. Just running away. Rolling zeros. Oh God. <laughs> Roll the nine. It's not gonna matter now. Alright, just get out of here. Even rolling nines to zeros, it just doesn't matter. Uh, retreat down this way. That sucked so hard. That was supposed to be a really easy battle. 75 guys versus two. Versus two guys. 75 versus two. Should be instant crush. Nope. Stuck around for two weeks until backup arrived. So dumb. Give Denmark money to get them out of the war. Uh, we don't really have a lot of money. Of 
close, though. Uh, we're going to split up. That's not ideal, but whatever. Looks like he is chasing. Now if he drops sieges along the way, that's fine. Yeah, he is definitely chasing. That's not great. Spread out. Regroup. Uh, group up. Just get out the mercs. And go... Put the mercs down here. Everyone group up. Get on me. Well, yeah, you're still running away, but we'll bring you back. We can actually probably ferry them over here. No, we can't destroy that French army. Damn. Or French navy. Hmm. Okay, let's get some mercs down here. We're out of money. Shoot. Well, I don't mind a loan or two. There we go. Now, is there any good terrain down here for him to attack us? Plains, grasslands... Grasslands, plains. Nope, the land here sucks balls. What about down in Abruzzi? Plains, grasslands, grasslands, plains, plains. It's all shit. Italy is apparently flat. If you play Rome 2, Italy looks like mountains, but apparently here it's flat. Okay, here we go. He rolled a zero. That's good. And we rolled an eight. It's a good start. <laughs> Long way to go, but that's a good start. And then we can bring all these guys back as well. Losing huge numbers. Holy shit, that's terrible. Might as well be back in the mountains where we're barely taking any losses. Oh my god, we're losing huge numbers. Ow! Ow! Holy crap. You got, where are you guys going? Holy fuck, they're running to Thessaly. Oh my god, we're getting slaughtered. Look at his morale, look at that. His morale is at 5.5, mine's at We don't even have a chance. We're getting fucking owned. His morale is not dropping at all. Ow. He's rolling zeros and he's still getting huge kills. He's rolling zeros and he's getting huge kills. Fuck me, man. Okay, come to Dalmatia. Here, cancel all these mercs. Okay, you guys are going to have to retreat. We're going to go to Dalmatia. I have no chance in that battle. It was horrible. Uh, and he is getting manpower back, and he's getting troops back. So, just the fact that they pieced out Bohemia was enough for them to regroup. Not good. Okay, Thessaly people, everyone to Dalmatia. Oh, 
Okay, we can give him money for a peace deal. That's fine. Let's get out of the war. It's a lot of money. And Friesland. I don't really care about Friesland. They'll probably just peace out at some point here. Okay, he's splitting up. Good, 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 good. Yes. Oh, now he's not splitting up. Shoot. Oh god, who the fuck's going to Carnton? You better not stop in Carnton. I can't help you if you get stuck in Carnton. Okay, good, 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 good. Group up. Run to Dalmatia. Go, go, go. Should be fine. He looks like he is chasing with small stacks. No, he's sort of splitting up and then he groups up again. I mean, we can take him, but I want to get all my units together. All of them. Why is my vassal just standing there? Why are you just standing there, vassal? What the hell? Why can't I tell my vassal just to disband this unit? He's just standing there. What an idiot. That's negative war score for me. Thank you, vassal. I appreciate that contribution to our war. Close you. Group that up. Run to Zagreb. Group up. Come to Lika. Alright, no, no, he's coming right now. Just stay here. Let's see what he does. Because he's not sieging us up, so that's fine. Alright, he just ran his army off into who knows where. Sounds good to me. Go to Gores, go to Carnton, and uh, oh, he's fighting over there. Oh, great, he's busy fighting Lithuania. I like it. Go to Crane. Fight while he is busy. I still don't know how that 75 stack couldn't destroy that two, that two unit stack. That's so dumb. Should have been automatic, and it wasn't. If it, if it did happen that way, we would have been defending in the mountains in that battle. It would have been amazingly good for us. Okay, he's just letting me attack him here in Carnton. Even though we outnumber him 10 to 1, it's still going to take forever to do this battle, I bet. Nope. Oh, that guy. That guy got crushed. Why does that guy get crushed and not this guy? Fuck if I know, man. Alright, go this way. That one should also get crushed. Yep, it's gonna die. Good. Okay, good. And now we can just regroup our numbers. Because we are still a little low on numbers. It's a good thing we have an ass load of manpower. And how's France doing on manpower? Well, they have like none. I want to go kill that idiot. Stupid cardinal. He's 61 years old. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to save up my points. Right, he's just going to let me attack him again over there. 
Hopefully it'll just get crushed. It's only three guys. Yeah, crushed. Okay. Let me guess, this is mountains. Oh yeah, 87% mountains. So he wants me to attack him in the mountains. I'm not against that. I would prefer not to. I'm not against doing that. I would just prefer to defend the mountains if possible. So this is his giant stack over here. He has... Two armies that are really hurt. He has one of 27, 10, and 8. And they only have 8,000 guys in them. And he has another one of 27, 9, and 9. That only has 6,000 guys in it. No, 5,000. Yeah, 6,000. So if we can destroy those two, I'd be so happy. But his army royale, his main one, which has no leader, is almost completely full. 11, 14, and 17, he's barely lost anything in that army. So I, yeah, that's the one that we have to worry about. But the other two could easily be smashed. Uh, I think we'll wait till January so we get some numbers back, and then we'll go crush this idiot. Hopefully. And he's heavily winning that battle against Lithuania. If he comes and attacks me here, I'll be happy. Yeah, he is coming to attack me. Good. What's the terrain like here? Mountains, 48%. Good. Do we have a good general? No. Um, he's the best one available. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, let me take you out of there. And I'll put you in here. Uh, yeah, you're better. And the backup should be that guy. And this guy can have the shitty general, because who cares? That's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Actually, you know what? I don't even care about that stack. I want to make sure we win this battle. So come on over here, France. You're arriving on the 31st. Okay, so we're not going to get end the month bonus to our units, but that's okay. Eight, nine, thirty, go. All right, and in the mountains, yes, and he has a river crossing too, so he has a negative four penalty, and this is his shitty general. I like that against my good general. Good. In fact, we may not even need the third army. You know what? We'll bring the third army to the ends, and we'll stop there. This should be enough to deal with this. Rolling zeros, although we only rolled a one, so still. There we go. Oh man, he rolled a 9. His shitty general rolled a 9 against us. We better win this. We double his numbers. We're defending in the mountains across a river. We better fucking win that. Rolling zeros. That's good. We're already through half of our manpower. And we're losing the war. That's not good. We've barely lost anything. He's lost a lot of guys. He's lost about 8k. We've barely lost anything, so I'm happy with that. He keeps building more units. He just keeps on building units. Can we get you out of the war? You, you don't have that many units, but I'd prefer you to be out of the war. Really would. Now, close, though. All right, he rolled his, uh, no, he went from a zero to a nine. Are you kidding me? Uh, we're still getting good kills on him, though. Yeah, he's losing a lot more units than we are. I like that. Yeah, he's losing hundreds now. Look at that, losing hundreds. Look at that, yeah. More like that. Come on, lose hundreds again. Yeah, lose 400 a turn. Nice. 
I like that. This is fantastic. His army is going to be so depleted. In fact, let me bring you over here. We're going to use this stack to just go smash. Where I don't know where his army is going to go, but we're going to try to get there first and just just annihilate him. Because he doesn't have any manpower to build anything back up, right? Once those armies are gone, he has 160 manpower. There we go. We lost 4,000. He lost mostly cans. He lost... 13, 20, he has 28,000 guys. And he is actually retreating into Austria. We, I wish we could go into Austria, but we have no access. Oh my goodness. Those armies that are going into Austria have... Oh man, if we could go that way, can you imagine? Those are the two armies that are so weak. They're huge armies. They're huge stacks, but they're so weak. Oh well, let's go to Gors. I assume we can fight him in Gors. And, um, I don't know. Can we get access over here? No. They have us as a rival, so we can't get access. That's really disappointing. Um, go here. It's too bad we can't follow that army. Death of a Cardinal. Sadly, Gaetti died without ever reaching the Curia. He was loyal to Sicily. Okay. So he didn't get in. That's fine. We're just going to stock up points. I don't really care about the carrier right now. But these two armies that are going to Stiermark, oh my goodness, if we could get access over here, that would be so good. I'm tempted just to declare war to get access over there, but I won't do that. And yeah, hopefully we can smash this guy. We're arriving before the end of the month. Come on. I'm going to pray for a quick smash. Quick smash. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes. Yes. One of his giant armies is gone. However, these two giant armies are, will li be living on, and that is a big problem for us, because they could easily regain tons of troops over there. Okay, I think what this means is we should start invading. I'll go this way. Start invading. Uh, you guys, let's go to here. This way. Yeah, do that. And he's just going to chill in Austrian lands, because he knows I have no access there. Lose stability. Thanks. I like losing stability. <sighs> and he knows I have no access there, so he's just going to stand there with his... You know, no. Oh, shit. He wants to come fight me over there. Okay. Are we attacking in the mountains? No, we're in the hills. Still a negative three penalty, but... Okay. That was completely unexpected. Good move, France, I guess, right? But we do need to end the episode here, so thank you guys for joining me. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time, where we will hopefully smash these two French armies. Oh man, can you imagine? Oh yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.